Hello boys and girls, this time I'm here to present you a video uh, in how to make shortcuts, especially for a laptop. Christian asked me for it uh, because there's some frustration that without the numeric keypad, there are some shortcuts in Pro Tools that you cannot do. And I have uh, good news and bad news. Good news is for some of them, there's a workaround. Bad news is that some of them do not apply here. Let's go to the first one and the one that created this uh, idea. Normally, when you have a numeric keypad, you will press three on the numeric keypad to start recording on these or any channel that you may have. Uh, considering the circumstances, uh, if I do not, well, I don't have the three, so I cannot press it. The other uh, shortcut for that is to press command spacebar, but unfortunately, it is assigned to the spotlight search, so we cannot use that one. The workaround for that one is actually to go to System Preferences, 120. Go to Spotlight, well, let's do this from the get-go. System Preferences, Keyboard, Spotlight, and select the uh, Spotlight Search, that is the one using the shortcut. Go back to it, and then now if I press a Command Spacebar, now it works. So I'm going to start recording in there, and that works. Okay, uh, by the way, if you ever want to cancel a recording, the shortcut for that is command, period, and that recorder will not be logged. So that one works. Now, there are other things, like, for example, that I use all the time when I have the numeric keypad, which is memory locations, which is dot, the number dot. I haven't found a way to get those shortcuts to work here, and that's unfortunate. Course. Um, but there are other things that you can create your own shortcut. So anything that is on these menus that does not have a pre-established shortcut, uh, you can make a shortcut of that. For example, let's go into track, make one track active or inactive. For that, I'm going to create a new shortcut, a new track, just to prove that point. Uh, Shift Command N. By the way, if you want to change from mono to Stereo, you press command right arrow or command left arrow goes all the way up. I'm working on Pro Tools 2020 Ultimate. I'm going to create a stereo auxiliary track. Let's say I'm gonna, going to create and I press command down arrow to go to the different kind of tracks that you have. So up arrow or down arrow depends on what you're trying to do. In this case, I'm going to go for an auxiliary track so that I can. Put a reverb on it. I'm gonna label this reverb. I'm gonna add a reverb just in case, so that I complete my whole idea. First one doesn't matter, just to complete that. Let's say I don't wanna make this track now inactive, so I'm gonna go here and uh, under track, make inactive. Very important, you gotta see how this is typed in here. Make with a capital M, inactive with a capital I. With that in mind, I'm gonna go now back to the system preferences, keyboard again, shortcuts, and now this time I'm gonna go into app shortcuts, I'm gonna add the plus sign, I'm going to find Pro Tools. Got it. And I'm gonna type in here, make inactive. Again, I have to type it just like it was typed in the menu. And here I'm going to create a shortcut for that. Pro Tools does not use the control key much, so this time I'm gonna make control I for inactive, add. Make inactive, control I. Now I select whatever track I want to make inactive. I'm gonna create the one that I did for the reverb, control I, and now that shortcut became inactive. If I want to do something else, for example, let's say I want to add a, uh, an audio suite plugin that I use all the time. Let's say I'm going to use the, the gain one. Okay, so gain, audio suite gain. That If you want to change that, and I'm going to go here to show the tracks. Any track that I want to change the gain, I'm going to say this one, by the way. Oops. 
I want to change the gain of that one. So I'm going to go this time to the same location. I'm going to add the arrow. I'm going to make sure that this is in Pro Tools. I'm going to change gain. And this time I'm going to press Control G. Add. So if I go back to Pro Tools and I press Control G, the gain shows up. Of course, I can change the gain just to prove my point, and I can change that. So these are two ways to create shortcuts, either by you creating yourself going from the menu and finding things that you use regularly that do not have a pre-established shortcut. If you start, no, if there is a pre-established shortcut, just learn them. Again, you can see what the pre-established shortcut is over here and to the right of the menu. Just learn them. Force yourself to learn them. I cannot emphasize how important it is to learn your shortcuts. And the other way is to go to system preferences. If there's a a software, uh, sorry, a shortcut that was already using that shortcut that you're using, Pro Tools, just deselect that command. It's not the best way, but it is the workaround. If you happen to know how to make the other ones work, please let me know, and I'll be grateful to you. I wish you the best, stay in touch, more videos are coming, sayonara.